day three start, quarter past six-ish in the morning. Uh, lights went on at six in the uh, auberge. You can see us behind there um, in the monastery that we just stayed in. We filmed this last night, but I thought I'd just give you a quick view this morning before we go. So we've got 20 odd kilometers today. Um, the kids are doing really fantastically well. Um, looking forward to today because it's more flat land rather than um, 50 mile per hour winds over the Pyrenees. Um, so we say goodbye to the Pyrenees. We should just over in that direction. Good morning, Louise. Good morning, and hello to Zubiri. Mm, and we're heading to Zubiri this morning. So um, we're going to go off because we haven't had breakfast yet and we haven't had any coffee. So we will see you soon. Okay, so we're about 2k in? Yeah. Yeah, about 2k in. Uh, we did walk past a cafe this morning um, and said, right, we're not gonna stop at the first one. We'll carry on to the next one. And we walked right through the town and there was no cafe open. Was yeah. it, Louise? Well, it is quite early. It's quarter to, well, it was quarter to seven in the morning when we left. Um, I think it might be about half past seven now, so. Yeah. Nothing's and open yet. Nothing's open, apart from the ATM machine, which we managed to get some cash from, because <laughs> uh, we were running a little bit short. Um, however, one of the locals told us uh, 4k to the next village where we can get something to eat. Um, I think we're all a little bit hungry, but we'll, we'll survive. Ready for coffee. Ready for coffee. Um, but we did promise to tell you what we had for last night's dinner, didn't we? Yes. So what did you have, Louise? Um, oh, it was really nice, actually. It was communal dinner again, and I had the pasta. Yeah. Um, but then ended up swapping it with Megan for Megan's vegetable soup. Yeah. So I had the vegetable soup, which is lovely. Yeah. And then I had the trout. Yeah. Which was really nice, actually. Yeah. Um, with chips, yeah. Lovely. And then uh, bass cake, I think it was again. Yeah, some sort of bass cake. And then, um, so yeah, I had the pasta as well, which actually was near enough a full meal, wasn't it? <laughs> it was a massive plate. It was a massive plate of tomato pasta with cheese on it. Um, and then I swapped with Henry halfway through because um, he's a growing lad, he needs the carbs. And um, then I had the chicken and the chips uh, with Megan. Megan had that as well, and Henry. Um, and it was really salty, but it was really nice salty, wasn't it, Megan? Mm. He like cooked it in a salt. Um, and then we had the bass cake. And a bottle of wine was on the table um, and water. And it was a really nice meal. Lovely, uh, lovely company. Cinnamon basket. Cinnamon basket, yeah. So there we go. Uh, so we're heading off now to our next meal. <laughs> it's like we're walking from meal to meal. Um, but we're off to our next meal now. We're looking for coffee. For breakfast and coffee.
eight. So it's only about 12 kilometers left to Sabrini, but you're doing absolutely amazing. Well done, keep going, keep going, you'll get there. So we're just coming across a little town now um, where there is a uh, little restaurant, a supermarket. Um, I think we're ready to take our shoes off possibly and swap, the, swap our socks out to dry socks and pick up some lunch. Um, I think we're all ready for a little bit of a rest. I think um, Louise's feet are starting to uh, gather some hot spots or some blisters. Um, fingers crossed they don't go into too much and try and catch them early. So a bit of Vaseline, dry socks, five, 10 minutes, a bit of a rest up. Hopefully all will be well. We've gone into uh, Lincion and the first sign that we have seen is a taxi. We're a little bit tempted. Aren't we, Louise? Just a little. Little tempted. But we will carry on. I think we can see a water fountain in front of us. So there's not been a water fountain for a little while. So hopefully this is a water fountain. Subiri, 6.9 kilometers to go. We're raring to go. I think this is one of the worst hills up. But I think we're going into forest now. So a bit of shade, it always helps. I've just made it to a quiet part of the walk. Um, my son is in front of me. 100 yards he's got a lot of energy he's just had his lunch so so he's probably got that and then louise and megan are behind me um not too far i don't think um but we all agreed at the beginning of the walk that we'd walk on our own sometimes um it was important for us just to have a little bit of space when nobody else is around us just i suppose just to gather our thoughts really and have a bit a quiet time which we would naturally get in our home environment um, but it's nice it's lovely one other thing that i wanted to share actually was the um the evening meal at orison on our first night so after we walked up the eight kilometers and stayed at the first um auberge in orison um after we had our meal we went around the table um, and introduced ourselves and a bit of a tradition for them at orison and one that uh, the group of around 40 people actively took part in as well. And um, there was people from all nations, as you can imagine, the Camino de Santiago is a real well-known route. I think it's one of the uh, most uh, walked, uh, is my understanding. Um, but it was interesting to hear people's reasons on why they were doing it. Some people were just doing it on the first time. Um, COVID had, had stopped them from doing it. So this is the first opportunity they've had to do it. Um, others for health reasons. Um, and there was one group, a group of three ladies, who had actually decided um, to take um, their mother's ashes uh, and, and a friend um, ashes along the Camino. And they have made the decision to scatter the ashes at certain points of the Camino, as and when felt right. And it was a lovely story and actually one that was really quite heart touching that they've, they've made the effort uh, to share this journey still with their, their friend, their mother, even when they're, they're not with us. So um, many different stories on this Camino. It's only day three and I'm sure there'll be more to come. Tell us all then, Louise, what's happened? Um, I've got blisters on my, well, I've got a blister on each of my little toes, which is an area of my feet that's always a bit, uh, and a bit pointy, and a bit squashed. And, um, and now I have blisters on those two spaces. And it hurts, but you know, it's all right. I've treated it a little bit. When we get down to the bottom, I'm gonna take my socks off. I'm gonna take my boots off. I'm gonna wash my feet. I'm going to drink Coke. Well, you all have to wash your feet. Nobody else is going to do it for you. Well, totally. Um, mm. And it'll be fine. Good. So you are, you have broken the seal. You I'm the are, official first blister. You're the official first blister of our group. There are times in the day when things just couldn't get any better. We've literally worked in, walked into um, Sabori. Louise? Sabiri. Sabiri. I will get it right at some point, probably tomorrow morning when I leave. <laughs> we've, we've come across the first alberge and he had a room for four people. It's a private room with bunk beds. We don't care, it's private. It also has a towel 
linen on the bed and lovely pillow and also where Megan's just come from a private bathroom so the private bathroom has got a shower toilet after walking where we've walked today that's absolutely phenomenal but to actually the pista de resistance yeah because we are in Spain after all um, is actually the balcony that comes with this four bedroom room we can't believe our luck we must the, the gods must be shining on us today um, and I'm going to try and show you um, the area where we're at. Um, so we've got a river just coming down here, which I'm going to go and dip my feet into at any moment, and down there as well. Day three. Wow. Um, <laughs> we left um, our auberge this morning at around quarter, half six, quarter seven. Quarter seven, possibly yeah. something like that. Yeah. Um, and started on our way to uh, our current location, which is Zubiri. Zubiri, uh, which you can just see in the background here. So this is actually the route that we walked into um, Zubiri uh, this afternoon. Um, so those 22 kilometres were a lot of up and down, um, and uh, it was hot today. Um, I think we're here from the top 20s easily. Um, very little wind today compared to yesterday, coming over the Pyrenees. Um, but um, definitely a nicer walk than the Pyrenees today because we went through uh, quite a few forests, didn't we Louis, and um, had a bit of shade uh, around and about, so yes. that was good. Very yeah. good. So um, what was your highlight then for today? Oh, um, I really enjoyed leaving Roncesvalles Valle um, at 6.45, the moon was up, the sky was blue, it was lovely and cool. Um, I was a bit tired to start with today, I, had a little, I was a bit slow to get started, um, but actually it was a really pleasant first hour of the walk, Yeah. Uh, and then we had a really nice breakfast, so I think that was probably my best bit today. Yeah, we stopped off in a little um, village, didn't we, mm. that had, uh, there was one, one cafe open, um, which was being visited by a lot of um, pilgrims um, this morning, um, so we went there and, and had a tortilla, um, vegetables and fried egg, which sounds That's nice. Yeah, it sounds a little wrong from yeah. first but it's absolutely amazing. Um, even Megan and uh, Henry pretty much ate everything mm. on their plates. Nice coffee as well. Beautiful coffee just mm. gets going. Um, and we always say as well to the kids, you know, make sure you clear your plates because you don't know where the next meal's coming. Mm. Um, and they've been really good actually, if they've really, really cleared their plates up. Mm. So uh, the, tr the walk today, there was, there was not that many stop points was there for cafes no or eating opportunities no um, we did manage to find a small supermarket mm. which had um, fresh bread uh, a fresh baguette um, you may well see that in some of the footage mm -hmm. and um, we grabbed some ham and some cheese and a pack of tortillas um, and um, just before we made a quite a steep ascent uh, we stopped in the shade on a bench and uh, watched the world go by or watched um, Pilgrims to go by uh, for about three quarters of an hour, an hour, um, and just, just pretty much ate our, ate our lunch, which actually gave us the energy to just finish off the last bit um, of the walk. So we come into here today, um, it's a pretty little um, place, um, but literally over the bridge, and it was the first average that we saw, and it had room for uh, four, um, which is perfect. Um, and um, private bathroom today. Private bathroom as well today, yeah. which was which was really good. And um, so yeah, we settled in here for tonight. We've just had a bit of tea. Um, so once again, it's a Saturday here, and it's a bit early um, for Spanish custom to be serving dinner at this time. Um, but we are all relatively tired, so we're going to um, get an early night. Mm. Yeah. yeah. And then what time are we start in the morning? Um, I think we're getting up early, early, and. Yeah. We'll get going as soon as we're ready, so it could be 6, 6.30, I think, walking out the door to get tomorrow. Well, a bit earlier than that, I think, mm. possibly. So it's due to be hot tomorrow, so it's due to be hitting the 30s tomorrow, so we're going to be leaving early to try and beat the uh, beat the heat. Mm. Uh, it's around 21 kilometres tomorrow to Pampelona tomorrow. Mm. Yeah, Pampelona being a big, bigger city. Um, appreciate it Sunday tomorrow, but um, we're hoping there'll be a few more things open so that we can feed the kids and have a look around. Um, so yeah, and then injuries today, Louise, I think you've had. 
Yep, I'm wearing my blisters today. Um, I got three blisters over the course of the day. Two are quite painful, one's all right. So yeah, treating that this evening and tomorrow morning, I think. Yeah, totally. But there was a, there's a nice stream going through just on the outside of the village here, nice stream. And it's pretty much as soon as we dropped our rucksacks off, we all went downstairs and we all just put our feet in that stream because it's icy cold. That might have been my highlight, actually. It was uh, my highlight of the day, actually. It was the, uh, and it wasn't just us, there was a lot of people doing exactly the same thing. So, and they're still down there now. Yeah. So, um, well. Anyway, so day four tomorrow. Um, and um, we hope you're enjoying this. And uh, we look, uh, look forward to seeing you tomorrow.